Okay, so I'm setting up my work table. You can see my five-month-old kitten, Fiona. It <laughs> needs to get off the table. Get down. Uh, she always wants to be wherever I am in my way. So I decided first I'm actually going to do some little, I think these are four by six canvases. I got them at the dollar store. You get a pack of three or four for a dollar. At least I did a while back at the Dollar Tree. So I think instead I'm going to do some little mini Christmas canvases because I'm going to put those up in my Etsy shop and then I'll probably also make stickers um, out of the images as well for your scrapbooking. So um, I'm, first I'm going to just collage these surfaces. I'll probably be speeding this up some because it's kind of boring just watching me put paper on the surface. Um, I'm going to use my matte gel medium. It's a little bit thicker. It's kind of like a little paste, but I like it for collaging papers onto canvas. They seem to stick pretty well. And I'm just going to go through some of my scrapbook things that I have. I have little boxes of different scraps of paper that I saved over the years. So I'm just going to randomly, I'm not going to really put much thought into this. I'm just going to start putting some paper down and then we'll go from there. backgrounds are dry and I ended up going back over with some white gesso. I wanted a little more opaque coverage in these areas. Uh, it's totally optional. You don't have to do that, but I just decided I wanted a little more white for what I've got in mind. Now, I really don't, like I said, have a plan in mind of what I'm sketching. But what I like to do, and I learned this trick from Mindy Lacefield, is I've got these uh, Albrecht Durer Magnus watercolor pencils. And I guess they're Magnus because they're bigger, thicker than your regular size watercolor pencils. I also have their regular watercolor pencils, which are beautiful. Mindy totally turns me on to art supplies. But what I like to do is sketch out with one of these Magnus pencils because, of course, it's watercolor, so you can easily wash it away without making a mess on your page, or you can blend it in with a little bit of your paints and you've already got some tinted color coming in. So you'll see what I mean in a minute. So I think I'm going to maybe do a snowman on this blue background, so what I might do is take uh, this bluer, this one, and just sketch a little snowman. Move these others out of the way. And we'll just kind of see what happens. So. I might, I like to have their faces tilting a little bit. The carrot nose up here. And this is a very rough sketch, so we'll be making changes as we paint. I just want to position the pieces. Body. I might do this little mound of snow here that he's sitting on. Just 
stick arm here, a stick arm here. I always like to draw them with little winter hats too, so let's do a little hat coming down. Now you can make this as detailed as you want or as rustic as you want. That's one thing. I, I always want to get messy and I end up putting too many details, but we'll see. See what I'm in the mood for today. And we might put a little bird here looking at him. On his hand. Right. All right, so there's our rough sketch. And next I'm gonna put some paint on my palette and we'll get going. Okay, I've put some colors on my palette and I put just tiny little dots. For some things, I like to use the medium to heavy body acrylics. And sometimes I like to use the fluid acrylics. Since this is a relatively small painting and I'm gonna do some blending and shading, I'm gonna start out, of course, I'm gonna use the heavier white because it's, it's just better for blending and holding the other colors that I mix with it. And then I've just kind of put uh, some Christmas colors over here. Um, then I've got the some browns for shading and the, the stick hands, a little bit of orange for the nose. I've got some Payne's Gray, which I really love for making different shades of gray for uh, shading and shadows. So we'll just get started and we're gonna see where this goes. I just have scruffy brushes. I've got some better ones. I may have to run to my room and get a, a few nicer ones. Maybe that's a little better, but we'll start scruffy because the snowman, you want to end, have him end up looking like he's got some texture. And I think we're at the end, I'll show you as well, we're going to use some texture medium and sprinkle some of the, I call it diamond glitter, but it's the extra fine white glitter. It looks like beautiful powdery sparkly snow. So let's go. Hands here. 
base it in white first and let it dry and then we'll go back in with some color. And then we're going to go in here with more detail on the on the scarf and with the hat. Okay, I'm going to put a little detail work on this bird. I guess we'll make him blue for now and see where he goes here. It doesn't have to be perfect. I might make him sitting in a nest. So the snowman's little hands are holding it. Yellow for the beak. Little dot for the eyes. I'll make up some shading color for the wings, a little bit of the Payne's gray with some blue. So that's cute. So we'll go in with white. on the hat too because I just wasn't liking the flatness looking color of the craft acrylics. So this actually is much more vibrant as you can see. So we're just going to touch that up. And the more you start to paint and get into different art supplies you may find that you prefer the
There we go. I like that better. My son gave me this set of Liquitex little tubes. I think it was like, I can't remember if it was 45 or 60 different colors, but they're these great little sampler size. He gave these to me for Christmas last year and I just love it because I've got a whole rainbow of colors and they last a long time. All right, so I'm really liking this. I think the last thing we're going to do is just put some of the texture around here and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I've got a cheapy tube of modeling paste. So I'm gonna just put a little bit here. Whoops, hasn't even been open. Just gonna squeeze a little bit on my palette. And you can use your finger for this, a palette knife. I'll probably just use this scruffy brush. And I'm just gonna dab it roughly over top of where I want the snow on the ground to go. All right. And then I'm going to use some of this diamond glitter. I'll just use a piece of scrap. Okay, the final thing we're going to do is touch up some highlights and uh, finish this little guy up. So I've got a Uniball Signo pen. These are great for fine lining. It's waterproof. It's my favorite thing to use if I want to do detail work on a sketch. So we're going to go in here and I'm just going to make some little lines. Actually, to tell you the truth, before that, I'm going to go and do some shadow work with a pit pen. These are filled with India ink. And so they'll stay wet for a few seconds where so you can blend in and you can use some water uh, at first to blend it really quickly. And sometimes because this is so kind of goes into the background, I'm going to make it look a little more old fashioned and use this sepia around here. And then just use your finger. Can you see how this...
window. And then the last thing, I don't know if you've ever seen snowmen with rosy cheeks, but I'm going to do that. So I'm going to use a little bit of a gelato, Faber-Castell gelato. I just put a little bit on my finger and then just rub it into his little cheeks. Oh yeah, that makes him cute. And then the final thing is adding on some ribbon to hang it. You can hang it on a tree or you can uh, hang it on the wall or prop him up on your desk, whatever you want. Of course, I can't get it open. Alright, so I'm just going to get out my hot glue gun in a moment and attach it to the back and there you go. Cute little snowman painting for the holidays. Oops, let's add a little more black. Alright, well thanks for watching. This is Ruth at Fox and Raven Designs. Please subscribe and leave any comments and thanks for watching.